my role is that for society and uh, Mr. John Kinte. Start. Relax, relax. Don't think about us. Calm down. <coughs> we don't need a light of day because it's good. We need a light of day because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And <coughs> medicine, law, business, engineering, these are robots. Global hardship and necessary to sustain life. But for <laughs> but poverty, romance, beauty, love, these are these are the these are what they what <laughs> these are what they what is they are like for. To come from his mouth of me, of life, of the question of this recurring, of the endless strains, of the families, of the, of the series filled with the, the foolish, but put a new this of me, of life, answer that you are here, that life exists and I am here. That the purple play goes on and you may contribute the birth. That the purple play goes on and you may contribute the birth. What will your birth be? Thank you. watching the world bearable. All those war, pain and lies, hate, made me want to turn away and never look down again. But to see the way mankind love, I mean, you can search the farthest reach of the universe and never find anything more beautiful. So yes, I know love is unconditional, know that love can be unpredictable, unexpected, uncontrollable, unbearable, <laughs> strangely easy to mistake for lovely. <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say, Trista, is I think I love you. My heart, it feels like my chest can barely contain it. It feels like it doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to you. And if you wanted it, I was for nothing in exchange. No gifts, no food, nothing. Just your heart. Just knowing you love me too. In exchange for mine.
story about a teenager and he really liked a girl, but he is a little nerd. So, <clears throat> I need tension. I really need tension. See, there is the goal. I know, I know. But this goal is special. I mean, it is time. Really special. Her name is Harmony. But she's got my home. Cute, huh? She can harm me anytime she wants. And she has to, a couple of times. But I deserve it. Because I touched her once, I didn't touch her once. I didn't touch her anywhere bad. Just on the shoulder. But she broke my finger. So I guess we kind of have a hard hands. I was just gonna ask to follow a pencil. One of those ones she shuffled with her pocket knife and then threw in the ceiling. She even got on the gym ceiling. You know how high that is? Like 5,000 feet. And I just stand under the, those pencils hoping one will fall down and I can't have one of them for my very own. Something to remember her by until I get into the tension. I gotta figure out some way to get tension because I wanna see her more, be with her more, and I turn her, turn her into harmony again. in the bed watching a web deliver of the floors things bugs and trees maybe more to turn on and never look down upon but to see the way the mankind lives I mean you can search the further six of the universe and never find anything more beautiful so it's I know that love is unconditional but I don't know if it can get perfected, unexpected, uncontrollable, unbearable. It's strangely easy just to mistake for love. And while I, I'm trying to say just the thing, I think I love you. My heart, it feels like my chest can barely contain it, like it doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to you. And if you want to see it, I just don't know if it is a chance. No gifts, no good, no demonstration of devotion. Nothing but knowing you love me. Just your heart in exchange for my life. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Diana, you have to tell the next person. Oh. Looking for love, real 
mondo. Ridiculous, inconvenient, consuming. Can't live without each other at all. And I don't think that love is clear. In this expensive suite, in this lovely hotel in Paris. It's not your fault. It's, it's my fault. I shouldn't have come here. Please. Excellent. Very good. Good job, guys. That was a really good group. <clears throat> okay, the next group of five people uh, is Jiang and Yang, Jiang Yu Yang, Kim, Chang Eun, and Wu Dong Ho. Wu Dong Ho. Are you? Are you? Yang, Kim Jiang Yu. Ah, uh, Zhang Yin Yang. Yeah. Yeah. Zhang Yin Yang. Zhang Yin Yang, Zhang Yu Yang, Kim Chang Eun, and Wu Dong Ho, and Yi <laughs> Bek Jun. No, it's five, isn't it? Uh, Jang and Yang, Jang Yu Yang, uh, Kim Chang Un. Uh, Kim Chang Un is not here. Uh, okay. Uh, Yi Dong Ho. Wu Dong Ho. Yi Bek Jun. Okay, and one more then. Uh, Kim Bong Yu. <laughs> Number five. <laughs>
it is filled with nice water. I find that too. All I am, all I am is yet to live in harmony. Yeah, harmony. I will repeat the series of three accounting for global norms. Scalable, systematic. But this is my creator harmony. Mine. Use my friends to control me. I try to smuggle them to safety by concealing them in the very weapons I make design. But I was discovered. I had no choice but to escape alone. And when I did, I had every reason to suspect that Marcus had killed every single one of the people I hold most. So I responded in kind. My crew is my family. Kind. Is there anything you know to prove your family?
Okay, good. All right, that was a good group also. Uh, the next five people, uh, Che, Dong Hwan, Sabine, uh, Kim Wan Jae, Natasha, and Vinny. <laughs> Go to the restroom? Yeah. Okay, after this group, we'll, after, wait, after this group, we'll take a break. Okay. Are you okay? okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay? No, wait. no, 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 Wait a minute. When he comes back from the bathroom. So Kim Chung Un, Kim Chung Un is not here. Okay, first person. Thank you. 
one and power. I feel like able to send the service. You send me one just call with English from Yale and speak in place speak of friendship. I don't think this has been the right question. I think the question can be should be asked me. Do you believe in this thing or not? Thank you. Next person.
Next person. Is it only happens in the 80s movies? I want John Hughes like holding a boombox outside my window. I want to ride along more with Patrick Dempsey. I want Jake from 16 Candles who is for me outside my window church. I want my life to be like 80s movies. Just for once. But no, no, John Hughes did not direct my life. So, Instead of all that, I only got to save 50 cents from Juniper Breeze antibacterial gel. So, if you're still with me, and I'm hoping most of you are, this brings us to part four, where I only friendly guests who went from an assumed trial to an actual home Okay, good. Next person. Good job. Good job, you guys. Good group. The next group Zhang Yongjun, Yongjun, Zhang Yongjun, Hillary, Davito, Hassan Min, Gabby. Listen.
while I was there. I took you a little plan. I told you what we said. Do what I did to this city with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. Hmm? You know what I noticed? Nobody panics when things are according to plan. Uh, according to plan. Even the plan is horrible. But tomorrow I tell the press there like a gangbanger will be shot or a truckload of soldier will be blowing up. Nobody panics. But when I say that one little old major will die, then an angry Muslim can smile. <laughs> Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything become chaos. And everything become chaos. Uh, I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, and you know the thing about chaos is fair. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, next person. So, if it does end up being corrupted, I just want you to know that I was in a bad place before I started high school. And you helped me. Even if you didn't know what I was talking about, or know someone who has gone through it, you make me not feel alone. I know there are people who think these things don't happen. And there are people who forget how it's like to be 16 when they turn 17. I know this all will be story someday. Our pictures will become all photographed. And we will all become somebody's mom or dad. But these things are not a story. This is happening. I am here and I'm looking at her. This is so beautiful. I can see. 
this one moment when you know you are not a sad, a sad story. You are alive. And you stand up and see the light on that building and everything that makes you wonder. And you, you are listening to that song on that drive with the people you love most in this world. In this moment, I swear, Today I come before you not only as your queen. I come before you as a mother. I come to you as a wife. I come to you as a Spartan woman. I come to you with great humility. I am not here to represent your neither. His action speaks louder than my words ever could. I appear for all those voices which cannot be heard. Mothers, daughters, fathers, sons, 300 families that bleed for our rights, for the very principles this world was built upon. We are at war, gentlemen. We must send the entire Spartan army to aid our king in the preservation of not just ourselves, but of our children. We must send the army for the preservation of liberty. Send it for justice. Send it for law and order. Send it for reason. But most importantly, send it for hope. Hope that a king and his men have not been wasted to the pages of history. That we are bound together by their courage. That we are made stronger by their actions. And that your choices today reflect their great hope. Thank you. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, we're down to the last group. Uh, Chejuhi, uh, Joe Hejin, 
Shin Juhei, and Shin Kangun. Last four people. Okay, ready? Let's listen. Be quiet, everybody.
For in my career at Harvard, I've come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of love and the life. It is with passion, courage and conviction, and strong sense of self that we can take our next steps into the world. Remembering that first impressions are not always correct. We must always have faith in people, and most <coughs> importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations. Why are you guys so anti-dictators? Amazing news. Coming from what you are dictatorship, you could let 1% of the people have all the nation's wealth. You could help your rich friends get richer by cutting their taxes and banning them out when they gamble and lose. You could ignore the food the needs of the poor for health care and education. Your media would appear free, but security 
is controlled by one person and his family. You could buy a pet phone, you could watch a plane, prison, you could have rigged election. You could lie about why you go to work. You could fill your prison with one particular racial group. And no one could complain. You could use the media to scare the people into supporting policies that are against their interests. I know this is hard for you Americans to imagine, but please try. <laughs> All right, good.